What's going on? Welcome to the Golf Clans channel. If this is your first time on the channel, thank you so much for checking out our content. We put out instructional videos, course vlogs, mix in a little bit of personal things, what's in the bags, talking about some of our favorite rounds. In today's video, we are getting into what is my worst golf shot ever? That's hard to choose. It's hard to choose. I've had a lot of really, really bad shots that I've tried to forget about, but one, sticks out among the rest because of the situation, because of the moment, you know, all that stuff. I think context matters, right? If you're playing by yourself and you hit an awful shot, it's one thing, but if you're playing in front of people, there's something on the line, it comes down to the last hole, eh, you know, stakes are higher in those moments. And so the worst shots feel a lot worse. So today's topic, what is my worst golf shot? Let me take you to Cicero, Indiana. And to any of my Indianapolis audience members, you know Bear Slide. You know Bear Slide, one of the top public courses in Indiana. Just a beautiful, beautiful golf course. So I'm out there playing golf with my cousin Dawson. We're having a blast. Flew the green with a nine iron. Oh, I break this club. This is back. I don't even know when it was. Maybe it was late middle school, early high school, somewhere around that time when we were just trying to play a lot of summer golf in Indiana. So we're out at Bearside, we're on hole number 16, and I gotta set this context a little bit, right? So Dawson and I had been doing a little bit of wagering on the golf course, and so we had a running tally of just the total amount that one of us owed the other person. That was it, so we bet 20 bucks. At the end of the day, instead of paying 20 bucks if you lost, you just added it to the tally. So we've had a long, maybe summer's worth of betting on the line. And me, wanting to make things really interesting, I devised my own gambling game on the golf course and created a little point system and a chart about how many cents we were gonna bet on each hole with a multiplier on certain holes so that as you progress in the round, the dollar amount just got higher and higher and higher. And so it would go from maybe 24 cents on on this hole to on the back side, $16, something like that. That's what I thought about. That's what I wanted to do. Well, the, the art of compounding and the continuous multipliers, it scaled up from like two cents all the way to we get to hole number 16. And from what I remember, we're talking about over $100 here. So that might not sound like a ton of money to you. Put yourself in middle school and then think about how much $125 is, right? This was probably 25% of my net worth at the time. Coming down on one hole, it's 16, it's a par three, it's playing downhill, it's about 135 yards. I grab a sand wedge and I just wanna nuke a sand wedge. As I said, it's playing downhill and you gotta just carry over this front brick wall. Number 16, beautiful par three, out of bear slide. I step up there with all that money on the line and absolutely hosel rocket one just gone it's so far right into the woods so deep it's just absolutely gone and you hate to see that you hate to see a shank but I shanked it in a big moment and I think Dawson might have just hit one up there close to the green and just finished out all he had to do is finish out to collect that easy $125 but we still laugh about that shot and anytime since that I've hit that old sand wedge which I no longer carry in the bag anymore I still kind of just smirk about that one terrible shank that I hit when all that money and all that pressure was on the line. So that would have to be probably my worst golf shot ever, maybe my biggest choke ever, shanking under pressure. It's, it's just the worst. It's absolutely the worst, especially at number 16 at Bear Slide. It's such a beautiful hole. So that would have to be my worst golf shot ever. Thank you so much for checking out this video. As always, if you enjoy this content, please hit that red subscribe button. Also hit that little bell notifications button, which will notify you anytime I put out a new video. If you enjoyed this, also hit the thumbs up button. Please comment down below what your worst golf shot ever is. There's no shame, there's no embarrassment here, there's no judgment. This is just about sharing comical golf moments on the course with our buddies, having a good time. So I would love to hear some of your experiences. As always, thanks for watching. Stay feisty. Why is this guy saying stay feisty? So 
the backstory behind my new motto and slogan is I was eating at Panda Express. I got a fortune cookie. I opened it up. Before I opened it up, I was thinking, whatever message is in here is going to describe the fate of the golf clan. This is it. If it says we're going downhill, we're going downhill. If it says that good fortune's coming our way, then we can expect good fortune. And the message said to an extent that my feistiness would pay off. And so ever since reading that, going through difficult work weeks and trying to grind out content and just staying up late editing and editing, that's my motto is just stay feisty. It's another way of saying stay hungry, but I like it, it's different, I've never heard it before. So stay feisty, all you folks out there. Let's make sure that we don't stop.